So I think I owe you guys uh, an apology. Is um, I'm working on editing this, and by the time it comes out, it'll probably have been three months since I uploaded on this series. It's just, ah, uh, this game is so frustrating sometimes. You know what I mean? I think I'm not alone in this. I think a lot of uh, content creators especially have struggled with ASA, but... Oh man, it just, this game is such a headache to to record. I lost my motivation to work on this series at all, really. I'm just going around killing Lystros and Dodos on the beach and grinding myself up a Pteranodon saddle. But, uh... Yeah, this game... Um, like, I haven't played, honestly, that much ASA, if I'm being honest. It just... It's not that bad to play, and it does look good. It, is it a problem with the way the game is built? Like, the structure of it? No, because, like, at its base level, it's still just arc. It's just that it's so painful to record, and then when I get on, feel like I want to get on and just play without working on one of my series, then I feel guilty, so I just end up not playing the game at all. Um, but then recording is so difficult to record a game that's this graphically intensive while still making it look nice and have a decent frame rate and and all of this stuff. And so honestly, I've spent probably like 10 to 12 hours since the game came out just fiddling with graphics settings. Uh, little command line things, trying to get, you know, cheats to, to make the game run a little bit better while still looking decent. I finally did, while I was recording this video, settle things down, and I think I have finally found a group of settings that, uh, that'll work for me, but it's just so problematic. <laughs> Hopefully this means that I'll feel like recording on a more regular basis, but obviously I'm not making any money off of this, my channel's way too small, this is... Not a job, it's just a hobby, just something I like to do. I do still feel like an obligation to make this content, but I'm, you know, if I if I really don't feel like it, I'm just not going to do it. And now I'm behind on projects that I, I had in place that I wanted to be working on. Like, I wanted to have my settings for the game done and out by this point, and they're not done yet. Um, and I wanted to be working on the series with my brother and we started the server and started getting things set up but we haven't even really started recording for that yet let alone the editing which is going to take forever it's just a lot of work honestly and i think that's the biggest reason why i haven't really played this game too much is that i i feel like i need to be playing it for my youtube channel but Sometimes it just feels like it's work and it's not really fun anymore. So I do need to just kind of play the game for myself. If that means finding a server or just playing with my brother for a little bit or uh, doing something, just, just playing the game for myself just to have fun with it. So I'm kind of flying around and just taking in the sights of the island, continuing to mess with my graphics settings, as you saw, and um, getting notes because I want to get an Argentavis. And that's quite the process on these settings because I, I had tuned my settings down a little too slow for my recording sessions. And so I needed to tune them back up and I hadn't done that yet. So uh, things were taking some time. Like I said, my settings need, they need work. So, uh, they're not, they're not done yet. They're not ready yet. I will put them out when they're ready, but, uh, hopefully they will be ready soon. I just, I need to test more and I, I frankly don't feel like I've played enough of the game to really make any improvements yet. Uh, if you want what I'm running with, essentially what I'm running with right now, the settings video I put out for consoles back when the console version of the game released is close enough to what I'm running. But I'm like doing a, a full loot overhaul and 
I was uh, re-level scaling dinos and, and doing all kinds of, of stuff. Uh, damage and resistance adjustments for specific dino species. The whole nine yards. Pretty, pretty advanced stuff. Uh, which probably means I'm going to have to put out actual INIs of my settings. But, uh, yeah. One thing that I definitely had to do, though, uh, in changing is go back to default length days. I don't know if they made days longer in ASA or what, but I swear the hour-long day that I made an hour and a half long, where it's an hour of daylight and then a half an hour of nighttime, feels like it goes on for forever. It just... Like, I did it in ASE for a while, and I thought it felt fine, and now I'm playing ASA, and it's just annoying. So, I switched it back. I switched my days back to default length. Um, not in this recording session, which is day four, or is it days four and five? Uh, but after that, I switched it back. Um, and yes, this video is going to be quite long. I'm covering many different days. It's like 11 hours of footage in total, so... That's uh, accounting for roughly, what, like close to a third of my total ASA playtime up to this point? Yeah, like I said, I haven't played much ASA. One change that I'm still not sure how I feel about is what they did to mountains in ASA. Because you, they used to be so much smoother. Um, and so they were a lot easier to traverse, especially on foot. And now, I guess they're more, well, for lack of a better term, uh, mountainous? And yes, I'm still... I, I have been playing for over an hour at this point, and I'm still messing with my graphics settings, trying to get it to look nice and, and run decent. <laughs> but uh, I used to be able to run from the uh, southern beach where you spawn all the way through to the redwoods to the top of this mountain on foot. Um, I've done it more than once, dying to cold while taming an Argentavis. So, uh, I know the route pretty well, but it, it's really hard to do that now because it's so hard to get up this mountain uh, on foot. So, I, I guess it's more realistic, but... Um, it's also far more difficult to traverse, and that goes for a lot of hills in ASA, honestly. There's... Just It's just harder to get around the map without a flyer, which is both better and worse. Now that I have a flyer, it's really not that bad, but if I am stuck on foot, man, it's going to be problematic. Getting to the end of day four, um, my game crashed, so I had to do a big chunk of the note run again. But I am now uh, collecting narco berries so that I can make narcotics, because I want to make... Up plenty of narcotics and trank arrows so that I can go and tame at least one Argentavis. Uh, but I I want to get started building a base. I need gathering dinos to do that. And if I want them, the best thing I need for them, or that I need to use along with them, is an Argentavis. So Argents first, then harvesting dinos, then base building. And that's going to require a lot of narcotics, which requires a lot of narco berries. And I don't have a berry harvester, so uh, yeah, I'm going to be here for a while. I then decided to take a break from collecting uh, narcotics to come out to Carnot Island and see if I could find some scorpions for Chitin to make the Argentavis saddle, because I did not want to have to farm turtles. It is now day five, the morning, early morning of day five, and we are on a boat farming turtles. I couldn't find a single scorpion anywhere, and I'm not running into that cave again. I'm still underprepared for that. Uh, if I had a better crossbow, maybe, or if I had a mount to take in with me, maybe, but I really don't have either of those. My raptor is way too low level. I ain't going into that cave, so, uh, yep, we're doing turtles. I then spent a considerable chunk of time harvesting materials by hand to craft up a uh, Argent trap. And instead of going for the typical rib, rib cage style uh, string of gateways, 
I decided to go for an old boxy style with a single gate. So it's a little bit more resource intensive, it's going to take more time to build, but I, I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll be a better design um, uh, to use, especially so uh, I don't have to keep fiddling with the gates. I can just build it and know that it's going to work. And then my game crashed again, so I ended up having to rebuild a big chunk of this trap uh, once again. This is about what I had before it crashed, uh, so now I'm going to keep working from here. I had a billboard I pulled out of a drop, so I decided to make the trap a little more enticing. Maybe that'll convince them to uh, get themselves stuck in. And so, to get this trap finished and usable, all I have to do is just put some ceilings across this uh, middle piece here, and we should be good. One last trip for resources, and... It's now usable. Not saying much, doesn't look great, but it is usable. So, let's find ourselves an Argentavis. Hopefully a decent one. Can't find one at Metal Mountain. Found this level 25 between the Volcano and Obsidian Mountain. And that's the only one I could find around the Volcano. In fact, I legitimately circled the Volcano twice just looking for Argents because I couldn't believe that was the only one that I saw. Also picked up this yellow drop with a ring out of the river. So, uh... It was all honestly decent. Ended up going back home and passing the time overnight because I need an Argentavis and I could not find one, so I'm just gonna let them fly around. I have Prevent Hibernation turned on. I am just standing here in Fast Forward waiting for the night to pass. So, uh, here comes Day 6. Early morning, day six, decided to get some meat before I headed out just to make sure I'd have plenty for my Pteranodon, plus uh, enough to feed an Argentavis on just meat and tame it on just meat if I had to. Hopefully I can find one today. Picked a fight with a level 10 Argent. Well, not so much a fight and more a one-way massacre. But now I have some prime meat, so if I can find uh, some... Argents sometime soon, one that aren't level 10, then I can use the prime meat to help tame them a little bit faster. I don't like killing things on Pteranodon. I understand there's guys like the guys that play PvP and they use PTs all the time. Uh, they can be good combat mounts, but I always stat mine for weight and stam, so I feel like I just can't kill anything. Maybe that's just me. Um, I just I don't like going around killing wild stuff on, on Pteranodons. I flew around the Redwoods for a while and found a pair of level 55s. I misread it, thought it was a male and a female. Uh, it ended up being two of the same gender, so... No breeding Argents yet, but I did uh, decide that I would tame at least one of them, you know, just so I had something to get me around the island. And the first one that I found decided it wanted to be problematic. It decided to fly away from me for about 30 seconds before turning around and coming back again. I don't know why. Sometimes dinos in ASA just do that. They'll just, like, walk away from you for no reason. I wonder if it's the pathfinding stuff. But yeah, now we have our first Argentavis trapped. Land here. And uh, unfortunately for him, we don't actually have any free bird seed, but let's go ahead and knock this thing out and get it tamed up. So the first female is asleep, and I've put meat in it to let it tame. Um, I was originally going to tame them one at a time, but I uh, lost my patience. So now we're taming two at a time. Uh, hang on a second. Now we're... Ow. Now we're going to be... Hello. Come on. Come on. Get off of the trap, you stupid bird. You're supposed to be in it, not on it. Okay. And... Thank you for being dumb. Now we have two birds. 
Oh, uh, that was, uh, that was, uh, an experience. Right there, that's what that was. Then picked a fight with a Stego for some more meat. A little bit of a, a sketchy battle there. And, uh, what I didn't show you is there's a Rex right up the hill, so I'm sitting on my PT to go away right away. If I have to, please don't move too far. There it is. It's a... I think it's a 145. But yeah, let's just get the meat out of this thing and get out of here. There it comes! Incoming! Now I have more than enough meat in both of these things. I've done the math. They are not going to wake up before they finish taming. And so we are good to just sit here and watch them and make sure nothing kills them while they're asleep. And I'm waiting for them to wake up and so that I can use them. And just like that, our first Argentavis is up and awake. So let's just uh, slap this thing with a cool name. I guess. Throw the saddle on it. And we now have ourselves a big bird. And we'll wait for the other one to wake up too. But, uh, yeah. Finally. Feel like I've made some actual progress. Hopefully, I get... Uh, why is my bird blinking? Does this happen to anybody else? This, this happens when it turns its head, and I don't know why. It's just like, for one frame, it just blinks out of existence, and I don't know what's causing it. Maybe it's just me? But it kept happening, so... I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, um, my goal, honestly, at this point when I, I made it to Taming the Argent, I decided my goal was to, at the end of this recording, or this video post, to be where I was at in the series before uh, I switched to ASA. So I, I can feel like I'm actually making new progress in this series instead of just rehashing old ground. So yeah, um, Argents, and then Harvesting Tames, and Base Building, like I said. That's all coming in, in this video, That's <laughs> which is why it's so, so long. Yeah, and I finally am, at this point, I'm pretty sure I had my uh, settings nailed down so that I was getting a, a pretty stable frame rate so I was really like I was kind of depressed I'm not gonna lie when I when I started recording this uh, this for this video like do I really want to do this um, but at this point I was really starting to feel pretty good about it finally finally getting some stuff done so I flew the birds back home and uh, first harvesting tame down. I need something that can get me berries so I can keep making narcotics, so I just threw some stuff in a level 20 Parasaur, and uh, we'll have a Parasaur pretty soon. That'll be nice. I do have to go back and get that other bird, though. And when I went back to get the other bird, take a look at what I found on top of the mountain. Level 65 Dodic. Uh, it does have a baby somewhere. I, I don't know where. Um, I never did find it. So... It's it's probably dead if I if I'm being honest, but I did need a dodec regardless. So just fly this thing back home. Yet another harvesting tame down, and it's already almost the end of day seven, which just uh, just started. I burnt so much of it waiting for Argents to tame. Made a quick stone box trap at home and and slipped the uh, dodec in there, and had to harvest some berries to tame it. This is far from ideal. Hopefully I get a, a trike or a stego at some point. Uh, but at least I have something to get berries. This is better than doing it by hand, that's for sure. And there goes the dodic, so I can just throw my berries into it. And uh, I'll have to stay somewhat close, make sure it doesn't wake up, but should be alright. We should be alright. Um... I do still need uh, an Anki and a beaver or, you know, something to help me get some wood. So, we've still got some, some more taping to do. And this thing's going to be going for a while, too. Since I didn't want to go too far, I decided to fly to the top of the nearby hill 
and get myself some metal to bring home and start smelting. Uh, having Argents makes this a, a much better experience. It's so much easier to get to the top of this hill now. I remember how much pain I had trying to get metal in the last video. It was not fun. But now I can just, you know, go and get it. Also tamed a Phyomia to get started on producing fertilizer. Because I am going to, in my base building, add in a spot for crops, and I'm going to need fertilizer for my crops. Uh, now that I have a decent way to get seeds, too, uh, the base is coming in short order. I need this thing uh, to output some fecal matter for me. I also forgot how fast these things tame. It took all of, like, two minutes. Now we have a Phyomia. Unfortunately, they still don't gather berries. I tried. So uh, you're just going to have to collect them with the Parasaur and transfer them in. But it's better than nothing, so let's get started on that fertilizer. I also slowly started working on bringing water up the hill. I finally figured out how it works. So uh, we're going to pipe water wirelessly, and these are basically like uh, range extenders. So I just pop that one there on the edge of the intake, and then continue to build tanks within the sphere of the previous tank, and the tanks irrigate each other. So, just a string of wireless water. I'm not sure if I prefer that or the piping. I guess it would depend on what my living situation is. And since I hadn't killed enough turtles uh, for an hour getting stuff for an Argent Saddle, I would proceed to go and kill more turtles to make more water tanks. Yay! And then this happened. The Baryonyx came up the hill and decided to start eating my stuff at my base. It killed my otter. It killed my compy baby that I had. Um, I think it killed the raptor too. And then it aggroed on me in the Phyomia, so I just lured it back over the cliff. Oh no, there's my raptor. So it didn't kill my raptor. I remember that wrong. But yeah, uh, Baryonyx. They're... Uh, they're a problem. So I don't have fences up. It's just so much resources to put into fences right now, you know? Then we start off day eight strong with some proactive defense, thankfully against a somewhat lower level Spino. So uh, this was scary at first, but uh, I realized pretty quickly I was going to win as long as I could fly fast enough to stay in behind it, which I had a problem with for a bit. But yeah, I was able to, to take out this Spino and uh, get things done. Any second now. There we go. So yeah, a Baryonyx got lured back over the cliff and a Spino taken care of. The Dodic is done on day eight, so there's yet another harvesting tame down. So let's just get this thing out of the trap and find something else to tame, because we're still not done. I was on my way out to Herbivore Island to look for Ankies and noticed a beaver underneath of me. This could be just what I'm looking for for a wood tame. As long as they're... Actually, you know what? I really don't care that much what level they are. What level is it? 15? Won't take that long. Not too resource intensive. I think I'm going to tame myself a beaver. And the beaver is down. Berries go in. And then, after continuing to fly up, pump it with narcs, and come back down to the water, it finally was just about done, so I flew up. It's just stinking hot this day, for whatever reason. That's another thing, I swear ASA gets both hotter and colder than Survival Evolved ever did. But hey, now we can get ourselves wood from trees. Beautiful. It's not much, honestly, because the Castroidus is so low level. It's better than nothing. Out to Herbivore Island the evening of day eight, and uh, again, I circled it twice just to make sure 
there were no Ankies on the whole island. I don't know what happened to them. They are not here. Um, I almost always come here for my Ankies just because I know it's easy enough to find them. So I guess I'm going to have to go mountaineering. So I spent the end of day eight and the early part of day nine flying from mountain to mountain looking for Ankies because honestly, I should have checked to see exactly where they spawn. I know that they will spawn on mountainsides, but mountainside tames, uh, because mountains are so difficult to traverse in ASA, it's not just like, oh, like the bottom of the mountains is Stegos and Ankies, and halfway up the mountain you get Aloes and Rexes, at the top of the mountains you get Gigas. It's still kind of somewhat like that, but stuff has a tendency to fall down and not get back up, so it's more like the bottom of the mountain is where you find a lot of stuff. It, again, I don't have that much experience with this, so maybe I just haven't had much luck with it. But mountains don't feel as populated or as dangerous as they used to. They're just more annoying to climb. And my search eventually brought me all the way back around to Metal Mountain. Maybe there's one here? Yep, found a level 10. It's almost nothing, but it's slightly better than nothing, so we'll take it. I really need higher level tames. But we'll worry about that later. Let's just make sure we have some kinds of, of tames now when we don't have much resources. That'll give us the resources we need to actually tame the high level stuff. Knock it out. Tried to find a spot on the hill where I wanted to set up the actual base instead of this little shack I've been living out of. Just thought I'd start with square foundations. I did eventually switch to triangles and just build a circle. It just looked nicer. And I cut out a lot of resource gathering with these uh, new dinos that I had. It's And it's a little bit problematic. I mean, it's still better than doing it by myself, you know, by hand. But uh, I wish I had someone riding them, like my brother. It's one of the nicest things about playing multiplayer is you can have somebody help you gather so much faster. But the foundation of the base is coming along pretty well, honestly, so that's nice. Building circles, once you learn how to do it, actually not that hard. Squares on triangles, triangles on squares. You start with triangles first, and uh, really that simple. It is now officially day nine, the morning of day nine actually, and base building is well underway. So we need to get this stuff that I've built in this little box here over onto that foundation, start building up some walls, put a door in, maybe a roof would be nice. I need a spot for crops and I need to finish that water tap. I never did get that finished. The baryonyx was kind of distracting. And take a look at this. I would like it to be a little bit bigger, but you know what? Uh, I'm kind of getting bored of just building foundations. So let's go ahead and start working on moving stuff over. I put up a gate and some walls and realized eventually that if I wanted to build over the gate, I was going to need to build down from a ceiling instead of simply building up over top of it. So I still need to build some storage too uh, for these dinos and what they harvest. There we go. Hit that. Build the walls down. I love the extended build range. It's nice. There we go. We have one sealed in section of the base. This is going to be the doorway that leads out to our farm.
And I did need to work a bit on the uh, forge alignment so that there was still space to get around, but I could access eight forges all at once. And more turtles to the slaughter so that I can use their keratin to create the last one or two water tanks that I need to get water all the way up to my base and to my farm. And I imprinted on this baby Dilophosaur. I don't know if I'll have any use for it, but it's better than uh, nothing. Plus, it's high level. It might be the highest level thing that I have, honestly. And I also finally finished the water line. So water is now through most of my base. That's good enough. Had to go seed hunting for seed I was missing, but this was just the last step in getting the farm ready. I'd also been sitting on this beer barrel for a while, and now that I had water... Hey, why not, right? Might as well get started. Who knows, uh, maybe Calcatherium will be useful at some point. And then I set out to go looking for potentially higher level Thames, or especially a higher level Argent uh, would be really nice. I, I have a tendency to prioritize Argents first when it comes to work creatures, but then this thing just... This is my first ever encounter with a Rhino, ASE or ASA, by the way. It just came up out of the trees. I had no idea how fast this thing was or how hard it hit. I probably sort of tried to fight it. Now there's two of them. And uh, I'm just like, thankfully my Argent's got decent health. I just like, get to the trees. Maybe I can get them stuck on a tree or, or something. Maybe get them to, to aggro onto a, a creature of some kind. If I can just get them off of me and just make it back to base or, or, or just away from the swamp, away from the rhinos, maybe? These things... Ow. And they're not getting stuck on trees. They... Uh, apparently they break trees. I had no idea how good these things were. I've never fought one before. And uh, this is just me accepting my fate. Like, the rhinos are on me, the raptors are on me. I'm dead. My bird's dead. I'm dead. My stuff is in the redwoods. It's the end of uh, day nine. And... I had already been recording for several hours, so I was like, no, no, the stuff is gone, I'm done, I'm not getting it, there's no way I can go get it, so that's it, so concludes day by day, uh, days four through nine, so I more than, I, I tripled my day count actually, in, in a single video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the video down below. Be sure to smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. Uh, everything you can do helps this channel grow. Uh, of course, the best thing that can help this channel grow is me uploading more than once every three months. So we, uh, we'll work on that. I'll work on that. I do have other projects coming up, stuff that I'm really excited about. Hopefully I can convince my brother to help me work on it. Uh, if you're excited, I I hope you are, but uh, I haven't told you what it is, so I don't blame you for not being. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, whether it's day by day or my new ARC project that I'm working on with him. And uh, I hope you're not mad at me. Uh, I do apologize. It's been a while. But thank you for watching. Bye-bye.